Hey, what's going on guys, Watson KHD here, back again with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video, and this is going to be a major throwback video, because I'm going to be showing you how to create 9 outfits from Red Dead Redemption 1. Now guys, these are not a one for one recreation for obvious reasons, like we can't have the exact same clothing, so I've tried to create them so they look as close as they can to the original outfits, but they are not going to be exactly the same. I've also left out a few outfits like the duster, the union suit, the rancher suit and a few other DLC outfits as again we don't have all the clothing items, the rancher suit is already available to us and the duster is John's standard cowboy outfit with a brown duster added. Now I strongly recommend pausing the video on each outfit you want to create as we are just going to go straight from one outfit to another to try and save a little bit of time so it's not a massively long video. I will also have timestamps in the description so you guys can easily navigate to a specific outfit. But anyway guys, I don't want to take up too much of your time so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Starting off we have the elegant suit and this outfit was originally worn by John in order to give him the ability to cheat in poker. Now there was also an unusable variant of this suit that was shown on some of the box art for Red Dead Redemption 1, which saw him lose the coat and the hat and gain some gloves and a bandoila. Now to make this outfit you will need John's classic hat, the Black Rambler jacket which can be obtained by purchasing the Farrier outfit in Blackwater, the grey and white striped traditional vest, the off-white Casimir shirt, the purple dress tie, the black cuffed town pants, and John's default worn roper boots. And to make the unusable alternate version, all you need to do is remove the coat, remove the hat, and add a pair of black range gloves and a bandoiler of your choice. Next up we have the Bureau Uniform. Originally acquired through 100% game completion, this meant that Jack had the ability to be untouchable by the law as long as he was wearing this outfit. To create this outfit you will need the black and grey derby hat, the black rambler jacket which is obtained by purchasing the farrier outfit in Blackwater, either the black classic vest or the Thompson vest, the white everyday shirt, the black dress tie, the black fancy pants which can be obtained by purchasing the gambler outfit in Rhodes, and any black pair of shoes. I use the old west boots but feel free to choose any pair of boots you want. Next we have the US Army uniform. Originally this was obtained by finding 6 scraps scattered throughout the world and could only be worn by Jack. When wearing this outfit however you were more likely to be attacked walking around Thieves Landing. To make this outfit you need the military mounty hat which is actually a stolen hat and can be picked up in some of the missions for the Wapiti reservation or you could go to Fort Wallace after. The green collar overshirt, the brown everyday pants tucked into the boots, the cream half chaps, the brown cavalry boots, the red high neckerchief and the black range gloves and you can also add any bandola you choose. Next we have the Walton's Gang outfit. This was originally obtained by collecting six scraps of this outfit scattered throughout the world and allowed John to enter a Walton's Gang hideout without being attacked until he initiated an attack. To make this outfit you need the black and red lazy stovepipe top hat, the gunslinger vest, the off-white Casimir shirt, the dark work pants, tucked into the brown English preacher's boots, the red high neckerchief, some black range gloves, and any bandoiler of your choice. Next up we have the Bollard Twins Gang Outfit. This was originally obtained by collecting six scraps and much like the Walton outfit, when wearing this the Bollard Twins Gang will not attack you unless you attack them first. Now to make this outfit it is actually really simple and quick. Simply equip John Marston's The Cowboy Outfit from any wardrobe and then simply buy and equip the red puff tie and the brown shotgun chaps, as well as equipping any bandola of your choice. Next is the Treasure Hunter Outfit. Again this was obtained by collecting 6 scraps of clothing scattered around the map and much like the two gang outfits, while wearing this the Treasure Hunters will consider you friendly until you initiate combat with them. To make this outfit you need the pink union suit, 
the green saddle jeans. Now, the icon for these jeans are green, but when you actually wear these jeans, they're kind of like a dirty white color. You need the off-white and brown workman's boots and the red high neckerchief. Next up, we have the Legend of the West outfit. Originally obtained by completing the four different ambient challenges within Red Dead Redemption 1, this outfit gave John Marston the ability to double the capacity of his Deadeye. To create this outfit, you need John's classic hat, the black classic frock coat, which can be obtained by purchasing the Drover outfit from the Wallace Station General Store, the Thompson vest, the off-white Casimir shirt, the dark work pants, John's default worn roper boots, the red high neckerchief, and black range gloves. Next up, we have the gentleman's attire. Originally worn by John to make him look like a wealthy high-class aristocrat, it granted him access to the high-stakes poker club in Blackwater. So to make this outfit, you will need the white classic frock coat, the off-white traditional vest, and this can be obtained by purchasing the McLaughlin outfit, the white French dress shirt, the grey and black striped town pants, the white and grey deluxe relentless boots, the brown and cream striped puff tie, and the elk riding gloves. And these can be bought from the trapper after you've sold him a perfect elk pelt. Now optionally, and this is something that I like to do, I like to wear a black gun belt as well as some holsters. So for example, you could use the gambler gun belt and holsters as well as the upgraded gun belt and holsters, both black and they go with the suit very, very well. I also like to have level two or three left parted hair, preferably promated and a level two pencil mustache. The last outfit for this video is the US Marshal uniform. This was originally obtained by clearing the five gang hideouts in New Austin in 24 hours or less in game time. This allowed the player to completely avoid marshals and posses as well as get free travel on all stagecoaches. To create this outfit, you will need John's classic hat, the black classic vest, the blue everyday shirt, the black work pants, John's default worn roper boots, the red high neckerchief, and the black range gloves. And with that being the final outfit, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope that you all enjoyed the outfits and hopefully I haven't done a terrible job at recreating them. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have any better ways of making these outfits or any other outfit not listed in this video, then be sure to leave them in the comments below as well. If you did like these outfits, however, then a like down below would be greatly appreciated. If you could share this video around, that would mean an absolute bunch to me. And if you haven't already, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to stay up to date with everything I upload. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.